the Speartooth Large Unmanned Undersea Vehicle, LUUV, developed by the Royal Australian Navy in partnership with Melbourne-based C2 Robotics, represents a significant step in Australia's pursuit of advanced maritime autonomy. This analysis delves into the system's overview, context, procurement, delivery, deployment, role, and regional impact, while comparing it to analogous platforms in the Indo-Pacific to assess its strategic value. Designed to bolster undersea warfare capabilities affordably, Speartooth emerges amid heightened regional tensions and evolving naval demands, positioning Australia to navigate a complex security landscape with innovative technology. Speartooth is a modular, autonomous underwater platform engineered for versatility and scalability. Available in two variants, an 8-meter model with a 1-meter beam and a 4-meter model with a 0.5-meter beam, it features a hybrid lithium-ion and diesel power plant, driving a direct propeller system. Its composite hull houses a spacious payload bay capable of integrating diverse sensors, instruments, or munitions, tailored to mission requirements. With an operational depth of 2,000 meters and a 2,000-kilometer range, Speartooth can undertake extended missions in challenging environments. Plans for a digital periscope system in later trials signal ambitions for enhanced situational awareness, enabling covert operations in contested waters. Unlike larger, costlier unmanned systems, Speartooth prioritizes affordability, with unit costs targeted below $1 million, facilitating mass production and deployment. This design philosophy reflects a strategic intent to balance capability with economic pragmatism, distinguishing Speartooth in the realm of undersea autonomy. The development of Speartooth unfolds against a backdrop of escalating maritime competition in the Indo-Pacific, where great power rivalry and regional assertiveness underscore the need for robust naval capabilities. Australia's 2023 Defence Strategic Review highlighted the urgency of addressing capability gaps amid workforce shortages and fiscal constraints, particularly in undersea warfare. The RAND's focus on unmanned systems aligns with global trends, as navies worldwide seek to reduce risks to personnel and extend operational reach. Speartooth's genesis traces to 2022, when the RAND's Warfare Innovation Navy branch partnered with C2 Robotics to explore low-cost autonomous solutions. Unveiled at the Indo-Pacific 2022 exhibition in Sydney, the project responds to Australia's geographic reality, vast maritime borders requiring persistent surveillance, NASA and strategic imperatives under frameworks like AUKUS, which emphasize technological collaboration with the United States and United Kingdom. In this context, Speartooth is not merely a technological experiment, but a calculated response to a deteriorating security environment, aiming to deter threats while complementing high-cost assets like nuclear submarines. Procurement of Speartooth has followed an agile, iterative approach, prioritizing rapid prototyping over traditional, protracted acquisition cycles. Initiated with a $2.4 million contract in January 2022, the project secured an additional $9.2 million by 2023 to advance a second-generation prototype and develop a containerized launch system for operational flexibility. The first prototype, in trials since May 2022, has undergone open ocean testing to validate endurance, range, and payload integration. The Gen 2 variant, slightly larger, is slated for a six-week demonstration by late 2023, with successful outcomes potentially triggering low-rate production by mid-2025. C2 Robotics' emphasis on cost control, leveraging commercial manufacturing techniques, sets Speartooth apart from pricier alternatives, though it raises questions about long-term reliability in high-intensity scenarios. The RAND's procurement strategy reflects a broader shift toward experimentation, accepting developmental risks to accelerate capability delivery in a time-sensitive strategic window. As of early 2025, Speartooth remains in the prototyping phase, with no operational units delivered. The first prototype's ongoing trials have generated valuable data, 
refining navigation and autonomy systems, while the Gen 2 model's construction progresses toward its planned demonstration. Delivery timelines hinge on trial outcomes and funding commitments, but C2 Robotics' scalable design suggests production could ramp up swiftly if approved. The containerized launch system enhances logistical agility, allowing deployment from commercial or austere sites, which could streamline integration into the RAN's operational framework. However, transitioning from prototype to fleet-wide deployment will require overcoming technical hurdles, such as ensuring robust undersea communications and resilience against electronic warfare, underscoring the challenges of operationalizing cutting-edge autonomy. Deployment strategies for Speartooth remain speculative due to operational sensitivities, but its design supports diverse applications. Capable of forward operations in contested zones, it could maintain persistent presence in areas like the South China Sea, deterring aggression through surveillance or effects delivery. Its low cost enables swarm tactics, where multiple units coordinate to overwhelm adversaries, amplifying strategic impact. Speartooth could also support manned platforms, extending sensor coverage for submarines or surface ships, or undertake one-way missions, delivering payloads in high-risk environments without risking lives. The containerized system's flexibility complicates adversaries' targeting, enhancing survivability. While specific deployment plans await operational maturity, Speartooth's adaptability positions it as a force multiplier across Australia's maritime domain, from northern approaches to distant theaters. Speartooth's role and purpose span a spectrum of undersea tasks, reflecting its modular ethos. Primarily, it serves intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, gathering data in denied areas to enhance maritime awareness. It can also engage in undersea warfare, deploying anti-submarine sensors, mines, or countermeasures, or mapping seabeds for tactical advantage. The potential to carry guided munitions introduces a strike capability, enabling distributed lethality without exposing manned assets. Additionally, Speartooth could disrupt adversaries' ISR efforts through covert operations or decoy deployment, complicating their decision-making. Its expendability, owing to low costs, makes it suitable for high-risk missions, preserving costlier platforms for critical tasks. By addressing workforce constraints and extending operational reach, Speartooth aligns with the RAND's vision of a leaner, more agile force, capable of sustained operations in a contested Indo-Pacific. The impact of Speartooth on Australia and the region is multifaceted, with implications for capability, industry, and strategy. For Australia, it strengthens deterrence by introducing a scalable, persistent undersea presence, complementing AUKUS submarines and mitigating delays in their delivery. It fosters industrial growth, with C2 Robotics Melbourne operations driving innovation and job creation, enhancing sovereign capability. Cost efficiency alleviates pressure on Australia's $368 billion defense modernization budget, enabling a balanced force structure. Regionally, Speartooth signals resolve, reinforcing Australia's role in collective defense alongside allies. Its deployment could complicate adversaries' maritime strategies, particularly in choke points, while interoperability with US and UK systems under AUKUS amplifies coalition strength. However, its affordability-driven design raises concerns about resilience, and widespread adoption of similar systems could spur a regional arms race in undersea autonomy, necessitating careful strategic management. <laughs>